Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the SOG Pocket Power Plier. So, or the SOG PPP, I guess as some people describe this. This will be, I believe, the S44, if you're interested in that nomenclature. But this will be somewhere around circa 2005. I couldn't find an exact date of when this will come out. But this will be SOG's essentially attempt at making a very small multi-tool, very similar to the uh, Leatherman PST, actually. It's very similar in size. So, for instance, this is the SOG Paratool that SOG came out with several years earlier. And this will be the Pocket uh, power plier. Now this will come in around, I believe it's 5.9 ounces, somewhere around there. It's going to be a very light multi-tool and it's going to have several functions. So first of all, we notice again that we have the beautiful opening pliers that we've come to expect from SOG. And I just, I love these pliers. One of my favorite parts of the SOG multi-tool the compound leverage system. And interestingly enough, this is going to be essentially the smaller version of the SOG multi-tool that first comes out with these compound leverage. So the pocket or the power plier will be the first SOG, I believe, that comes out without leverage. And the pocket, uh, the pocket power plier will be the small version of that. Uh, just some SOG multi-tool trivia, I guess. And on this side, we've got the ruler. We've got the lanyard loop there as well. And then you can see this has, well, I'm not sure if I can focus real well, but anyway, it does say um, Washington, Edmonds, Washington, specialty tools. And we'll notice that we have these right here to, I guess, lighten up the multi-tool and make it a little bit lighter. Now I'll talk about the pocket clip later. This is a Leatherman pocket clip and we'll go over that a little bit later. But first of all, I wanted to mention that on my specific tool, it comes with the large screwdriver, the rounded file, and the pretty nice Phillips. I actually like this Phillips. You'll notice that SOG has a sort of neat design where actually the screwdrivers can pass through it to save space. And obviously that weakens the tool a little bit, but it is pretty neat that it does save space. So it's a positive and a negative all in one, I guess you could say. On this side, on my tool, we come with the serrated, partially serrated knife. We come with the small screwdriver and then the can opener. So those are the tools on this side. Now, I wanted to mention that there are two versions of this. There are the S44 and the S45. The one is the, the deluxe and the one is the normal one. So each of these are going to have a little bit different tool set. So on the one, uh, technically this one that I hold in my hand, I believe is supposed to come with a partial, partially serrated blade, small large screwdrivers, the Phillips screwdriver, the three-sided file, which mine has a can opener. And then mine is actually supposed to come with the awl, but instead of the awl, it has the, I believe it has, well, I don't think it has the awl on this one. So anyway. Uh, we don't have the all on this tool. And on the deluxe, you're supposed to, supposed to get the partially serrated blade, small large screwdrivers, Phillips screwdriver, quarter inch socket drive, medium screwdriver, three-sided file, can opener, bottle opener, all rulers and lanyard. So if you take a look at this tool, you'll notice that we have spacers there actually to add other tools. Now, one of the neat things about this tool and about SOG in general that it seems like a lot of people don't realize or at least they don't care about is that you can swap out these tools. So for instance, the SOG Paratool, as far as I know, has the same tool set, the same tool size, and so you can swap. If you have a Paratool lying around, one of these tools breaks, you just get one from here, swap it in. And this is actually the same with the uh, power lock, from what I understand. So you can actually, I believe they have the same uh, tool size that you can swap in 
and out of all these tools, I believe. Now, this obviously has the newer updated uh, hex drivers, but I believe the tool set itself is pretty similar and that you can swap it out. So this one, for instance, I swapped out because I have an updated power lock. So I swapped out a broken screwdriver that I had in, th in that one and I was able to swap out and put the old one in here and the new one in the new one. So anyway, that's pretty neat that you can swap out all these tools and you can buy brand new tools on SOG's website. Now, from what I understand, Gerber, years ago, you used to be able to swap out tools. I don't know that you used to that you could ever do that on Leatherman, but individual tools I believe you could buy from Gerber years ago, but you can no longer. But on SOG's website, you still can buy, I think it's around 10 or so different individual tools, and they're only about $10 each, and then uh, they ship them to you, and I was very pleased with the customer service that I got with that. So anyway, that's something to keep in mind. So this is a very nice minimal tool set. I never realized that SOG even made this multi-tool. So pretty uh, excited to get this tool. I was able to get this, I think for about $25 or so. I would definitely, pretty much the equivalent to like a Blast or a Kick, the Leatherman. And then I was able to use the Leatherman Wave pocket clip, actually grind off the end, make a notch in there. And then this is a pretty solid pocket clip right here. And some people have been able to make the pocket clip so it actually sits against this bar and it doesn't move. But I found out I was able to tighten this down really good and I still have really good opening and closing with this tool. And this is a pretty solid pocket clip. So pretty excited with that. And I'm still able to use this as what it's intended for, pocket clip. So anyway, this has been the SOG pocket a uh, power plier and I did want to mention again obviously you, you cannot buy this new anymore so if you buy this used just uh, be be aware that there's a couple differences between the pocket plier or the power plier and the pocket power plier that's a tongue twi twister so the biggest thing is the pocket power plier is going to be a lot smaller so this will be only, let's see here, where do we have this? This is only going to extend to the seven inch here, where for instance, if you would get the power pocket plier, it will be about the same size as the power lock. So I think you'll definitely see about an eight inch or so mark on the tool set. So keep that in mind. Uh, people don't really realize the difference of these tools anymore. They have a very similar tool set. The power plier has more, the pocket, power plier is the small version. So keep that in mind. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.